Okay, I'm going to show you how to accept and complete an on-demand call on your online computer account. So we highly recommend doing most of your calls or accepting most of your calls on your app. Um, but if you are working on your laptop, you're more than welcome to accept any on-demand calls um, via your online account. Just make sure that you have everything set up. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are online to receive calls by clicking on this phone here and making sure that it is green. So calls will come through if your laptop is on and you are online. You do not have to be directly on the Boostlingo account system to receive jobs, but the, this web page needs to be open somewhere in your browser. I'm going to explain what will happen when a call comes through. So the Boostlingo ringtone will notify that a call is coming in. So you need to make sure that your desktop computer or your laptop or your iPad, its audio is turned up. A couple of very important things. You need to check your environment to ensure that everything is quiet and neutral. And you need to check that you have adequate equipment for answering a desktop call. That includes a headset with a microphone attached or a built-in quality microphone that is um, already set up within your laptop. So now we'll see if a call will come through. So you click the yellow click to answer. As you can see, it will come up with a notification wanting to use your microphone. Of course, you will click allow. I'm just going to mute everything so that you guys aren't having any issues with audio. So as I said, check all of your audio and network pop-ups, including your microphone access. The music will play while the call is connecting. When connected, this is the greeting that you need to say. Hello, my name is Name. My ID is a number. And I am your language interpreter. How may I help you? So for me, it would be, well, for this interpreter, I should say. Hello, my name is Harry. My ID is, I'm not quite sure what it is. And I am your Korean interpreter. How may I help you? We'll do a separate video on etiquette when answering calls. So you will see the caller's company name. The caller will see your ID number, your profile picture and any of the call details, the language, the industry, stuff like that. I will show you some of the call features. So you have a messaging option here. This speech bubble allows you and the caller to live message during the call. Perhaps you're having audio issues with the client. Um, this is useful um, if you need specific details as well. Um, anything like that. You've also got an option here called third party calling. When you click this add button, well firstly what will happen is the client perhaps needs to include a patient's uh, family, mem family member who is in a different area. So they might want you to add um, a third number into the call. The reason we give the interpreter the responsibility to add the number is because I think sometimes our clients want things to be as simple as possible so we teach you guys how to do it for them. So let's put in a number and press call. Make sure this is plus six one by the way. As you can see a third person is now um, on the call. Okay, I'm going to end that. They've disappeared. Very important, when your interpreting job has completed, you must always let the client end the call first. Do not hang up on the client just in case. Uh, so I'm going to end it as a client. It'll um, give you a notification that, is ha that it has ended. And now you can see the rating system. So it gives you all your information, how long the call went for, 
and you need to rate how well the call went and what the call quality was like. That keeps us very accountable of how well our systems are working and press rate. Please keep in mind that the client actually has the option to redial the same interpreter if they need to within 60 seconds of the call being made. So just be aware of possible callbacks. This is helpful to the client if they have forgotten to say something to their patient and you as the interpreter already has all of the context behind the previous conversation. Remember to view any call history, you just need to access the log tab on your dashboard.